So why does cannabis work? When talking about the effectiveness of cannabis and how it works in the body, we always have to start with the endocannabinoid system or the ECS as we call it because it can be a little bit of a mouthful. So what is the ECS? It's an essential system in the body, kind of like our hormonal system or our cardiovascular system. And it's present in all mammals, including humans, of course, primarily in our nervous, limbic, and immune systems. And its role is to help create homeostasis or balance in the body. It also helps keep our cells healthy throughout our entire lives. A scientist named DeMarzo described the function of the ECS as helping the body eat, sleep, relax, forget, and protect itself. And you may be asking yourself, well, why haven't I been taught about this in school? Or why hasn't my doctor told me about this? Well, there's a couple reasons. First, it wasn't discovered until the 1970s. And although there's been a massive amount of research since, since then, it's taken the institutional medical system a while to start to understand how the ECS works and its importance when thinking about the causes and treatment of disease. Today, the largest institutions and healthcare providers in the world recognize the essential role that the ECS plays in our bodies and the potential of cannabis to act on that system in a therapeutic way. It's ironic that this discovery was made so recently considering that the ECS is one of the oldest regulatory systems in our bodies. It's around, been around for millions of years and hasn't changed much in that time, meaning that it has a very high level of what we actually call evolutionary conservation, highlighting its essential role in keeping us healthy throughout our entire lives. The ECS is a lock and key system. The cell receptors act as locks and cannabinoids act as the keys. And our bodies producing cannabinoids all the time to help address imbalances, things like inflammation, nerve dysfunction, and unhealthy cell growth. These are referred to as endo or internal cannabinoids. Amazingly, plants also produce cannabinoids that act as keys to these locks also. And these are referred to as phytocannabinoids. And the most predominant in cannabis are THC and CBD. So what areas of the ECS are associated with sleep? Well, to answer this question, we have to look at the actual causes of insomnia since they can be so diverse and varied, as you know. Basically, the areas of the brain and the body where the ECS is present are some of the same areas that have a direct impact on our ability to get to sleep and stay asleep at night. Outside of the brain, the ECS is present in most large systems in the body that can impact sleep also. This includes your lungs, your vascular system, digestive tract, and your muscles. Also, the ECS is connected to your circadian rhythm. And this is your daytime, nighttime regulation system that helps manage your body's response to the natural cycles of the earth. So why are we telling you about the endocannabinoid system? Well, there's two main reasons. First, just as the rest of our bodies and minds are unique, so is your endocannabinoid system. You have a different constitution and potential imbalances from the next person, which is why your treatment needs are unique as well. And secondly, the cannabis plant is extremely diverse. And as you know, it can vary tremendously in each variety um, and the components that are in each of those varieties that affect your body. That's why we get to know you as best we can to determine what might be right for you as far as medicine. If you're a science enthusiast or just want to read more about the research, go to our blog or go to a growing number of online sites focusing on the ECS and cannabis.